in this video let's uh, prove the compound angle formula without taking the help of sine alpha or compound angle formula for sine okay so this is the formula cos alpha plus beta is equal to cos alpha uh, cos beta minus sine alpha sine beta and in my previous video I proved this but I took the help of sine alpha plus beta to prove this result. Now let us prove this directly without the help of uh, uh, cos uh, the compound angle formula for sine. Okay, so let's draw a triangle here, or let me draw a line segment here, and say this is alpha, and say so this is beta. Okay, so first let me do the construction, then I'll explain what I'm what am I doing. So this is a perpendicular, so let me drop a normal from year to year and a normal from year to year. So those are a few constructions. Okay. So uh, okay, so let's say this is say O. This is the origin. And so this is A. This is A. Say, let me call this, this point. This is B. This is C. This is D. And this is E. So this angle is alpha. This angle is alpha. This angle is beta. This angle is, this is alpha. This is beta. So this whole angle is alpha plus beta. Okay. So, so this is a right angle. This is a right angle. This is also a right angle. So this is also a right angle. Okay. And this is also a right angle. Okay. So what have we got here? So let's start with sine alpha plus beta. So now to see that I want you to look at this triangle so I'm talking about this triangle okay why is this suppose okay so this is I'm talking about this triangle this is okay so look at only this triangle okay so can I say in triangle? So let me write it here. In triangle AOD. In triangle AOD. We're using Soka Toa. I can say cos alpha plus beta. Cos alpha plus beta is adjacent over hypotenuse. What is adjacent? Adjacent is OD over hypotenuse, which is OA. Okay, so ODN, OA. So this is equal to, what is OD? Can I say OD is OE minus DE? So in place of OD, I can write OE minus DE over OA. Now in place of DE, I can write DE is same as BC. And I'm going to write this as two fractions. So this is OE over OA minus, instead of DE, I'm going to write BC over OA. So I need more space. So now, therefore, I can say cos alpha plus beta, cos alpha plus beta is equal to. Now, the next step is the most important step. You got OE, you got OE and OA. Now OE and OA are not in one right angle triangle. So I'm going to do a uh, step here which is critical, crucial. So OE, I want to write OE over OE over OB. I'll write OE over OB times OB over OA. So 
So what I did is I wrote OB in the denominator and I wrote OB in the numerator. So this and this gets cancelled. So what is remaining is OE over OA minus BC. BC is in one right angle triangle and OA is in the other right angle triangle. So I'm going to write again the same a similar trick. So I, I'm going to write BC over AB. BC over AB. So this is a manufactured term. So I'm going to write again AB here in the numerator over OA. This is the most important step. So what I've done is I've written OB in the denominator and O, sorry, AB in the denominator and AB in the numerator. So this and this gets cancelled. Okay. So now, what is OB? What is OB? OE over O. O E O O B. Okay, so let me show you this triangle. So I want you to look at this triangle. This red triangle. If you look at this red triangle, if you consider this right angle triangle, what is what is O B? O E, sorry. This triangle, if you consider O E is adjacent to alpha and O B is the hypotenuse. So that is cos alpha. This is cos alpha times what is OB? OB over OA. Okay, so let me draw this brown triangle. I want you to look at this brown triangle. In this triangle, my shading is not that good, so I hope you can see. This is again a right angle triangle. In triangle ABO, OB is the adjacent side for beta and OA is the hypotenuse. So that is cos beta. So this is cos alpha cos beta minus. What is BC? So now again, let me, I want to look at this triangle. This small triangle in triangle ACB. BC, okay, now for that, I'll have to prove something. Okay, so yeah, I've done this in the previous video, but I'll do it again here. So if this is alpha, can you understand this angle is going to be alpha? Can you see in alternate angles? Because this and this are parallel. This and this are parallel, so they're alternate angles, okay? Or you can also prove if this is alpha, this is 90 minus alpha, so this is 90 minus alpha, so this is also alpha. That way also you can prove. And this is a right angle triangle, so this angle is going to be 90 minus alpha. This angle is going to be 90 minus alpha. And if this is 90 minus alpha, this is going to be alpha. So this angle A or CAB is, a, is alpha. So for cos for alpha, BC is the opposite and AB is the hypotenuse. So that is sine alpha. This is sine alpha times AB. If you consider triangle ABO, which is again a right angle triangle, AB is the opposite of beta. AB is the opposite of beta and OA is the hypotenuse. So it's opposite over hypotenuse, which is sine beta times sine beta. So we can say cos alpha plus beta. It is similar to sine alpha plus beta proof. The only thing is you have to uh, group this out as subtraction instead of addition. So cos alpha plus beta is cos alpha cos beta minus sine alpha sine beta. Okay, so if you want to prove cos alpha minus beta, that is cos, that is equal to cos, this is cos alpha plus negative beta, plus negative beta. which is equal to 
using the same rule of alpha plus beta, I can say this is cos alpha, cos negative beta minus sin alpha, sin negative beta. Now sin negative beta is minus sin beta and cos negative beta is cos beta. So this is cos alpha, cos beta. This negative, this will become negative and that negative will make this negative positive plus sin alpha sin beta. Okay, so this is cos alpha minus beta. Okay. 